it's the standard. There's a lot of sort of pretenders and, and um, bases that I think try to be like the precision. And that's fine. I mean, I, I have other bases for other things, but when I go out and play and make records and, and, and the bass that I, that I know on the road is going to be dependable and, uh, and in the studio. There's, there's just no other bass I use. Um, there's just a, a, I don't know, I admit, like a, a trust that the precision is earned. There was a lot of uh, nicks up on the headstock where I'd, I'd bash Steven's cymbals with it, you know, and, and just, you know, shit, I'd throw the bass. They, they, won't, they don't break, you know, you can throw. I tried, I did break one once, but it took a lot of effort. Like I, I, and we had a metal graded stage, you know, this big, you'd think you could just, and I, I remember, you know, and it was pretty awkward because we were playing in front of a huge stadium audience. I thought, oh, I'm going to finally do that Paul Simonon thing on the cover of the London Calling record. I'm going to break this bass. I, you know, they only show Paul Simonon like with the bass like this. They don't show it making contact with the ground because I'm sure that would have been an awkward photo, you know, because the thing. Um, I've heard stories of like somebody ran over a P bass in a truck and played fine afterwards. Um, yeah, but it took me, I, I don't think I broke it clean and it took a lot of hits on that stage. Three, three hits, yeah. Yeah, my bass is, I, I don't treat them gently at all on, on stage. And um, yeah, there's a lot of scars and nicks and put some new strings on them, it's, they're fine. I really only made the, the sort of ardent decision to play bass once Guns formed, which was a few months after I moved here to LA and it's like, okay, I'm the bass player. Who, who, who's influenced me? Who, who, uh, Paul Simonon from The Clash, John Paul Jones. Can I play like him? No, he's, that's, he's really, really good. You know, it was only just recently in the last couple of years that I actually started taking bass lessons with Reggie Hamilton, um, a Fender guy, and, uh, and I, w I was just playing all Led Zeppelin stuff. And, and learning to play with my fingers is something I've never done in my, I'm a pick player, I like that percussive thing, and I think it helped me put being a drummer um, b to be a ba uh, better bass player. And it, so my style is kind of brash and percussive. Um, but Lemmy, Lemmy, Paul Simonon, John Paul Jones. Um, I grew up with seven older brothers and sisters, so there's a lot of Motown stuff. So uh, Jamerson and, and Duck Dunn were definitely rhythmic influences in my life. I recommend any rock, some kid, in, in any style, really. If they want to really learn how to play bass and don't listen to me or, you know, John Paul Jones. If you want to play like John Paul Jones, listen to Jamie Jamerson. Uh, that's where it all came from. And Duck Dunn. Those are the guys who, who were instrumental. I mean, those are the big two.